Our plan should have worked. But who could foresee that this weapon would interfere with our simple enchantments? And now we have become ensnared in our own trap. What is this weapon and what does it herald? Oh my god. There are a lot of dead guild mages in here. <laughs> I like how there was any doubt from Salonis or whatever. Oh, I, I don't know if we did the right thing all those years back. Like fucking 20 of your guild mage colleagues died in here, dude. <laughs>
some place where we can steal a whole bunch of junk. I'm not really sure where we'll do that, though. Because we're kind of liked in Riften. <laughs> you know? it be The more quests you do, the harder these bedlam jobs become. Because more and more people just begin to like you, right? And then, I guess you could always fall back on pickpocketing. But that's never really quite a surefire thing, you know? Like this, if I go in here, this is taking. We're not actually stealing that. Like, if I go into the Riften warehouse, is this stealing? Or, or is this like, oh, we can steal Bucket. Wow. Okay. We got anything good in here, though? Anything worth stealing? There's some little single pieces of gold. Oh, shit. Almost took a tankard. Alright, an overturned poop bucket. I don't know if anyone ever comes back to this after it's served its purpose. I'm not sure if someone has like a daily routine or whatever that leads them here. Let's see. Got some sacks over here. I guess we can just eat the apples. Why not? There we are. That counts, right? That counts as stealing. Uh, we got chicken breasts and whatnot. Take all that. Are we getting really close to 500 yet? <laughs> I feel like the answer is no. I mean, these are worth three each, right? That's gotta be something. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Did all this come back? Holy hell, I'm taking it all. All of the drugs. Wow, okay. Maybe we will be able to hit it. Oh, yeah! Thank you, drugs! Yes! Oh, fantastic. I forgot that this was a drug den. What? What was this even for? I definitely remember we had a quest here, but I don't remember exactly what it was for. Oh, it was for... One of the NPCs here had, like, a drug addiction or something, right? I forgot who it was, but she, like, worked the docks or something, I think? I want to say? I can't remember for sure, though. Anyway. Thank goodness. <laughs> right? Thank goodness for her crippling, <laughs> addling addiction. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Thank goodness for the local drug trade that's keeping everyone fucked up. <laughs> All right, let us go on over down here and let's scope out this ghost situation. Or should we turn this in real quick? You know what? Let's turn it in real quick. We're right here. Let's see. Turn this into Delvin and we'll get another one. I was also thinking maybe we hit up Markarth because we've got that other fishing related quest there. Right? I think it's just a miscellaneous one, but we haven't done one uh, along those lines. And hey, maybe we'll fish up one of the super fish that we need, you know? We still need like two of them or something, I think. Or did we need two of them or did we need none of them? And we just need to wait for them to respawn. Oh yeah, we definitely need a liar tail on Theos. We might need an angel fish. I can't remember though. Okay, let's head on out over here. There we go. And we'll speak with Delvin. Should we accept another Bedlam job? I, as, as much as I was just complaining about them, I do kind of like the Bedlam ones, right? I do kind of like the whole shop till you drop sort of vibe. Oh, look. Timely offer. Warning. Oh, I bet this is for Creation Club stuff. Look, this is giving off a real Creation Club vibe. How about this? Shipments arrived. Oh, these all seem very Creation Clubby, huh? Okay. Let's see here, Delvin. So, what could I do for you today? I completed the bedlam job. Watch it. I may actually start to respect you. Okay. I had if breaking to more. I want thing, another bedlam job. Taking it an easy job, eh? Oh, is well, it easy, huh? Go and do some damage. Just stick to the shadow. I'll take it. Keep this up, and you'll be rich enough to retire before you know it. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Let's see. What have we got up here? Huh. White run. Okay, should we look at one of these? Timely offer? Why not? Delvin. I have a full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for my cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving or else that bitch might catch on to our operation. If you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. Check back with you in a week. Tulden Way. Huh. Okay. Some glass arrows stashed under the docks in the usual place. What the fuck? We gotta get that. A warning. 
Hey, you've been taking my glass arrow. <laughs> I can, I'm the bitch. I heard that you were taking these glass arrows. <laughs> Delvin, master of sneaking, huh? If I ever catch you trying to sneak a peek at me while I'm bathing in the lake again, I'll cut off your most valuable asset. Vex. Oh my gosh. Delvin's a fucking pervert. Alright. How about this? Shipments arrived. Our shipments arrived and the following items are on your list. You want in? I need to see the gold. Fire salt. Paralytic poison. Black Briar Private Reserve, Shadow Banish Wine, Chokeberry Preserves. Whoa, how do I get some Chokeberry Preserves? Man, I was completely fucking wrong about all that. <laughs> Not a single one of those was Creation Club related. Shit. All right. Well, you can't win them all. Let's head on out of here. Let's head. Should we look under the fucking docks? Did we ever discover this? The usual place. What the fuck? Oh, you know what else we should maybe do? Should I take all this shit? Look, we can stash it in our amazing place. Huh. Talk to me. I think we should. Okay. I mean, it does look kind of nice here, but... Huh. What do you think this is for? I don't even remember. Bust of the Gray Fox. Okay. So, Thren, you were abandoned, Have huh? need of yeah. Sinric. Activate business ledger. So, is it true? Have need. Oh. This is old Mercer Frey shit. Mercer, I'd consider it a personal favor if you could once again utilize Sinric's unique skills for a delicate situation in the Shidna Mines. A close friend has been incarcerated in that horrible place, and I should like him freed as soon as possible. I'd recommend Shin Sinric avoid the Forsworn element that's prevalent within the mine and stick to as simple an escape plan as possible. Ooh, okay. Bandits get, you know, real friendly. Hey, you're the guy, wild. Sinric. Yeah, you need something? All right, yeah, picking I'm locks. I'm sure we'll speak again. How about this? East Empire connection? Mercer, I've pressed our contact at the East Empire Company for information. But that lizard's as stubborn as he is careless. He claims the company has nothing to offer, but I think he's hiding something. I'd suggest that you refrain from having him visited by the Brotherhood for now. He may yet be of some use to us. Alright. Are we to assume that these are all letters and missives from, uh, Maven? Is that the idea? I wonder. Okay. Yeah, I'm really tempted to take these and place them in our little special place, but that said, then this'll look kind of shitty, you know? But that said, it already kind of does look shitty. I mean, look at this. There's obvious little places where shit should go, but there is no shit. Haven't we collected it all? Or am I missing, like, three items? It feels like I'm missing three or maybe four items. But I'm not sure if that's true. Back from hmm. job, huh? All right, well, let's get out of here. There we go. Because I wonder which which area we'll see more often, right? The Thieves' Guild main area, or our little Ratway house, you know? And I feel like the Thieves' Guild area is gonna win out. Oh shit, there's a dragon in the distance, screaming. Protect yourself, right? Let's do a quick save here. And should we check under the docks? Do you think it's in the confines of the city? Here, we'll check these first. And then we'll go after this mysterious spooky ghost. Alright. Down here. Oh, jeez. It's hard as fuck to see. <laughs> we don't need to worry about this, right? We've got our... Yeah, we can swim underwater without drowning. Excellent. Okay, and thank goodness it's not, like, super cold here. I feel like these are not the docks. I mean, technically, these are docks, right? These little tiny rowing skiffs or whatever. They, they dock here. Look at this. That's docking. It is docked. That's what that is. Technically, this could be it. I feel like it's not, but it could be. Buy some armor and live to Let's tell see. About it. Anything else? No. Jeez, it's really hard to see, huh? It's just f clouded and filled with poop all over the place. Just all the nasty runoff from Riften. 
Probably poop and pee and drugs, fish residue, right? From like gutting fish, filleting them and all that. Probably stinky. <laughs> I guess just the poop would do that too. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Yeah. I guess it's not down in the oh. There's a dead person here. Wow. Okay. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients. I have them all. Yeah. I don't think these glass arrows are gonna turn up down this way. Okay. Let's get on up. Good, good, good. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should check outside real quick, just in case going after this ghost leads us somewhere pretty fucking wild. Right? I don't really know what to expect here with this ghost chase, but hey. Just in the event that that pans out that way. Alright. I don't know if we've ever found these glass arrows. Maybe I have a long time ago, right? When we were diving for that um, little strong box or locker Wait, or whatever. I know. For Maven, remember? In the middle of the lake. Alright. Under the docks. Is it cold? No. Oh shit, it's also actually really easy to see here. Fortunately enough. Okay. Got a bunch of fishes here. You know what, I'm gonna start taking these fish. I can't help it. We got our carry weight down a bit. <laughs> That's good enough. Okay. I'm assuming they put them in like, a box. Or a barrel or something, you know? I'm assuming that the these glass arrows are stashed safely. <laughs> they didn't just dump a whole bunch of glass arrows right into the water. Just free floating. Okay. What the hell? I'm starting to have some disbelief about the existence of these glass arrows. Or at the very least, my ability to find them. Okay. Over here. Jazargo, do you see these glass arrows? Or some sort of secret glass arrow stash? Or some eggs? <laughs> Big boat? Maybe ne Oh, look! Could this be it? This little box here? No, that's not lootable. Hmm. Weird. Here's some more shit. Could one of these be it? Oh, what even is this? Oh, it's a sideways box. Okay. Sure is a bunch of shit down here, huh? There's a crate. Not lootable either. Okay. Kind of like that there's stuff hidden down here like this. Unfortunately, like I said, it's not lootable. But there is something down here somewhere. Or maybe, or at least there used to be. <laughs> Did we get it before? Who can say? Who knows? Nobody knows. It was like probably 300 hours ago. I can't be expected to remember that. <laughs> I can barely remember things that happened three hours ago in the playthrough. <laughs> okay. Anything over here? Uh, I think we're we're running out of luck here. I think we've maybe searched every nook and cranny that we can. Oh shit! We're never gonna find these glass arrows now. What the hell? How can it be? Oh, I wanted those glass arrows. What the fuck? It was gonna be fun. I mean, not that we really needed them, but it was gonna be fun. We'll never know. Never ever. <laughs> All right, well, we did our, our duties. We did our due diligence. Watch them be in like one of these. It's not even underwater. Like this, is this, would you call this under the docks? Think about this. Sure, we are above some of the docks, but some of them we are under. Would this be, could you consider this as also under the docks? I feel like you could. I feel like this also partly qualifies as being under the docks. Are there other areas like this that are like sort of under the docks, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the one spot. Where'd that dragon go, by the way? I'm supposed. Oh shit! I just knocked all that. Oh no! It's full of glass arrows. <laughs> all right, over here. 
Huh. I don't even need these glass arrows. I just want the joy of finding them. And I'll probably never get that joy. Unless in the future I, I already had the joy. But you would think I would still see the box or whatever they came in, right? You'd think I would see that. Hmm. All right, let's head on back into town. Let's track down this ghost. Oh, we should read the quest log entry about it, right? This is usually the case with these. There's a little something extra. I've heard rumors about a ghostly apparition that has been haunting the Ratway here in Riften. I should investigate the area and see if I can learn more. Find the ghost in the Ratway. I'll do it. Okay. Let's head on down here. Yeah, I can hear the dragon now from inside the perimeter of town. Alright. There we are. Good. Okay. Wonderful. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely in this section. Can we have fast access to down there? No, it doesn't seem that way. Alright, that's fine. We'll just run around town here. Let's see. Are these active? Well, I don't think there's actually any trouble down here anymore, is there? Right? After you've been through it once, you don't have to worry about any respawns, right? Okay. Over this way. I don't really like having a character, even if they're dead, a character in the world whose name is Pickpocket when there's an- Oh my gosh! It's the ghost! Look, there's a booby trap as well, it seems. Find the ghost in the rat way. Hello! Oh my gosh, the Guardian Vault. Follow the ghost. What the fuck? Valonis. Oh my gosh, a strange, bald old man. Salonis's confession. What? Seventh of Morning Star, Fourth Era 171. My son, I do not have long for this world, but. Before the winter night embraces me, I would confess a great regret that has burdened my heart for many years. Long ago, my brethren and I commissioned to hunt, were commissioned to hunt down and ensnare a dark and powerful renegade captain, a man who, once a proud soldier, had become corrupted by a powerful artifact and turned to a great darkness of deed. We fulfilled our commission, but not without great cost, for I alone managed to survive the encounter, but in the many years that have followed this venture, I have often wondered if our deed in ensnaring him was equally evil, for with our combined enchantments, we have bound him to an eternity of misery, for we bound him to the guardianship of the very thing that drove him insane, the artifact. Oh, you're not going to even name it, huh? What a tease. What a tease. They're not even naming it yet. The artifact. A powerful weapon that now, despite his yearning for it, he cannot yield while he lives. It is a cruel fate for a once great man, for he was just that until grief and anger laid him bare to such utter corruption and malice. That story is a sad tale indeed. But now, these many years on, my heart sees the truth, and I would undo that which was done and free him from his misery. But alas, it is too late for me to take on such a quest. Therefore I pray that you, my son, will do this task in my stead. I beg you as a father's last wish, seek him out and set him free. Your father, Salonis. Oh my gosh. So he wasn't a nec- well, I guess in a, in a sense he was a necromancer, right? Oh. There's a rat lord here. Oh, it's Scritch! We need to talk with you. Hey! 
We needed to free you from a cage for this other one. Yeah, free Scritch from its cage. Ah. Scritch does not want to speak. Do, 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 do. You freed Scritch from its cage. Uh, wait for me at home. Oh, can you go to Hendraheim? Oh, hell yes. Yeah, it's a little far, bud, but you got it. You're giving me the stink eye there. Empty skooma bottles? Yo, has this, like, skeever been chowing down on drugs? Oh, have they been using the skeever to smuggle drugs? Oh my god, do you think this skeever's asshole is, like, full of skooma? Holy shit. The skooma skeever. Amazing. What will they think of next? Should we go this way? I feel like we've been this way before, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we definitely have. Look, the telltale sign there. Okay. Yeah, let's backtrack into the creepy guardian zone. Okay. Fair enough. There we are. And the guardian vault. What the fuck? I wonder where it could be. It ensnared a pirate captain? Oh shit, it does look scary in there. Oh my gosh, a terrifying shit ghost. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Burden for all eternity, not just to guard this ancient fucked up artifact, but to also come into contact with everyone's poop and pee. Oh no. You'd think people would have complaints hearing someone <laughs> like, right? Screaming all over the place whenever they go to dump their poop buckets down the poop bucket hole, right? Because of course they don't have like an actual functioning toilet. It's just poop buckets all the way. Oh shit. Gordon, you've really fucked me on this. Oh, please, Gordon. Oh gosh, Gordon is just going buck wild here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please, Gordon, no! Even Jazargo doesn't know what the hell to do. Okay. We have to do this. Alteration. There we are. Good. Fixed it. Alright, let's check this out. Guild Mage's last words. I am done. My wounds are too deep, and so I have chosen to remain and lock this area. All I can do is pray that Salonis made it out and sealed this dreaded place shut forever. At least then my death will not be in vain. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> And he was like, oh, maybe I should have gone back. <laughs> maybe it was fucked up what we did all those years ago. <laughs> Didn't even think about the guy that got left behind, huh? Okay. Oh, shit. This is like a Bizarro Thieves Guild. What the fuck? <gasps> Investigate the vault. Wow. Follow the ghost. By the twin moons. Yeah. Barrier. Oh, hey, this is another... Isn't this an item from the Shivering Isles? A magical barrier blocks your way. Look at this, it's a color-coded dungeon. There's like a bluish-purple, a green, and a red. Probably meant to be blue, right? Well, which one should we start from first? Probably will color correlate, right? Okay. Plentiful healing. Another guild mage. Wow, the guild had like a heavy presence here. In Riften. Potion of health. Another empty barrel. This one full of wheat. I'll take it. Okay. Let's do a quick save in case we get like instantly obliterated upon entry here. There we are. Oh no, there's blood everywhere. Look at this. What are they doing? Are they friendly? No way. Defeat the guardian. Uh-oh. The guard. Oh. Ooh, it's making a strange noise. Bunk. Ow, shit. There we are. Oh, shit. Alright. Here, let's get rid of some of these fucking units we've got here, yeah. Get rid of these. There we are. 
Good. I think I missed that one. Oh, it's turning red. That can't be good. Oh, shit. Oh, no, wait. We got a crit on the Guardian. Okay. Oh. Whoa! It's getting sucked up into something. Huh. Okay. Investigate the north chamber. What about the rest of this one? Holy shit. Okay. Can't believe all this is underneath the rift, you know? <laughs> Jeez, it is big. Alright. Smuggler. Old smuggler's note. Damn these mages with their magic. Things were good here. Life was sweet, and profits were aplenty before the boss agreed to help these fools with their trap. This venture will cost us the shirts off our backs, I'll wager. Huh. So they tried to trap somebody? I guess the, yeah, the dude who got, the pirate dude who got corrupted. Right? Okay. Anything over here? No, not really. Okay. Sure. Look at all this fucking blood here. Why is it so bloody? And look, you can skirt along there with a little yelling. Okay. Let's see, anything in this? Frost Miriam, I'll take it. Why not? How about over this way? Got anything? No, nothing much. Okay. So let's do a bit of this fun puzzle business. There we go. <gasps> cool. That's fun. Ooh, look, there's a little bit of platforming. Oh, look out, we're in Blight Town. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's look inside here. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, no, they died down here at... What is this? Did they, like, fill in a well or something? Huh. Skeleton. Guild Mage's Note. How could this have happened? Our plan should have worked. But who could foresee that this weapon would interfere with our simple enchantments? And now we have become ensnared in our own trap. What is this weapon, and what does it herald? Oh my god. There are a lot of dead guild mages in here. <laughs> I like how there was any doubt from Salonis or whatever. Oh, I, I don't know if we did the right thing all those years back. Like, fucking 20 of your guild mage colleagues died in here, dude. It was a fucking bloodbath. They were sealed in for years and years. Of course it was fucked up. <laughs> <gasps> Good God! All right, let's take all this shit. Jade, emerald, circlet, amethyst, iron ingot, 35 big ones, and a greater soul gem. Why not? All right, some garlic. Knapsack filled with silver ruby ring. And some minor healing. I'll take it. Okay, and look, we can go this way too. Oh, shit. Is this like another even more fucking wild little fun puzzle? Is that what this is? It's feeling like it. This is like some platforming shit. <gasps> oh, fuck. Alright, I fucked it up. That's fine. Oh, look, I bet you can cross over by... Yeah, look at that. Ah, uh, sneaky. Alright. I wonder if you can even just make that jump. You know? Maybe you can just make it. Huh. Hey, you can. Alright. Wow, this is neat. I'm enjoying this. Hey, there's goodies up here. Wow! Alright. Got a smuggler with two gold. Little trash potions. What's inside the treasure chest? Eh, some decent enough stuff. Silver amethyst ring, regular amethyst, ebony ingot. 19 gold and a common gem. Ah. Okay. Hey, what do you think's up there? Is that something right there? Let's see, should we telekinese that? Anything? It is very strange that it's just like a little cubby hole in that way. Nothing else I need to drop down onto, right? No. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't see anything up there. It is extremely strange that it exists, though. You know? Let's do a little bit of third-person camera cheating. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't- I don't see anything. I think it's a very small lip. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. I think. Alright. Wow, what a cool place! Little bits of platforming, I love it! Oh, what was that? There's some- Oh, it's because I got telekinesis active. Okay. Let's see, so now we need to check the northerly passage. Oh, it's turned green! Do you think there's anything cool in the water? No, it really is like the Thieves Guild Center. Okay. Oh, look, there's some enchanting stuff here. Oh, Salonis' Journal Volume 3. What happened to Volume 2? Did we miss Volume 2 somewhere back here? Was it placed somewhere kind of conspicuously? And I missed it? No, I don't think so. It must have been, though. Right? How could I have missed Volume 2? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that was the confession. This is the journal. Right? This doesn't say confession. Yeah. It is actually a different item. Huh. Okay, well, we're all misaligned, everything, all over. So here's an alchemy lab, right? Of course, the Mages Guild brought all this stuff. All right. Yeah, wild. So this was when the Mages Guild was still active in Skyrim, and it wasn't just specifically the College of Winterhold. Okay. Salonis' journal. Or maybe they came from, like, a different province or whatever. Yeah, they must have, because it was 4th era, 131. I'm pretty sure the Mages Guild didn't exist that recently in Skyrim land. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong, though. All right. 22nd of Morningstar, 4th era, 131. What was done cannot be undone. We did what we set out to do. And our commission was fulfilled, but at such a horrid cost for all of us. Together, we endeavored to lay a trap here with the aid of the inhabited smugglers and ensnare him. Knowing something of his past, we brought with us the remains of his dear departed wife, hoping... Oh, that's probably the ghost that we saw, the one who watches everyone throwing their poop around. Hoping that this alone would lure him into our grasp. Our plan worked, but something went horribly wrong. Perhaps it was the mishap of our magic or the deeper magic of the weapon he wielded. I know not which with any certainty. All I know is that for some reason our enchantment caused his being to divide. We suddenly found ourselves caught in a battle with three, where, once, where there had once been one. But with great effort, we managed to separate and contain these divisions within the chambers of this vault. This was but a... this was a small victory, if any at all, for I have yet to determine the true cost of it. I know not how many of my guilds survived the deed, for I cannot break the seals to these doors without undoing all that we have achieved. All I can do is await their return and pray. There is at least some comfort in knowing that our foe can no longer wield his blade, for he and the magic shield are one. He is bound to it. And now, both its prisoner and its guardian- Oh, <laughs> the guardian's whatever hole. The guardian sewer hole. <laughs> also, he would probably sound a lot younger in these, right? Because <laughs> this is- this is before he returned, right? 
I think. 23rd of Morningstar, 4th year of 131. Alas, our casualties were too high. For although we have trapped him here in this vault, it is now clear to me that only I and one other may live to tell this tale. However, there is no time to grieve the loss of our guild, for we must seal this place shut and report to the council at once. They must be informed of what has happened here. My colleague is severely wounded, but hopefully he has strength yet to assist me, for we must not fail. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. Strange. Maybe we'll find them all in opposite or in like reverse order. Maybe that's the idea. Let's do a quick save just in case. Yep, there's another spooky ghost up ahead. Ooh, verticality. Okay. Oh no. Some lavender. Fly Amanita. Anything back and around here. Okay. Doesn't seem like anything. Very well. Okay. I think we're good. Should we proceed through this area or go downward? I think we stay on this level. Uh-oh. Let's get ready. Uh-oh. Good. Oh, oh fuck. Oh gosh. Feel like I'm doing a whole lot of nothing with this. <laughs> Good. Is it worth it to even shoot these Atronachs? Yeah, they're actually real. They're not conjurations or anything like that. There we are. Keep it up, Jazargo. You're doing great down there, tanking it. There we go. All right, thank goodness we didn't have to fight all three of them at once, huh? <laughs> I mean, we probably still could have done it, but hey, lucky us, right? Another smuggler, some bone meal, a little bit of money, a lot of barrels over here. Spider egg. Take some of that. Another barrel filled with wheat. Okay. Let's flick on the lights. It's a little dark. Anything under this plate? No. Don't think so. All right. Anything over there? Nope. Storm Atronach. Got some void salts. Torn Smuggler's Note. Okay. I can't resist him! Those eyes! Those terrible eyes! So full of anger, fear, and remorse! The only escape is death! What did I see or read recently? Or play recently that, that said something like, The only escape is death. I know it's like a common tropey phrase, but I feel like I played something recently. Or that was like its motto or tagline or something. Let's see. Over here. Oh, this is part of an Atronach. Okay. Void salts. Weren't there three of them? Hmm. Maybe one didn't have any goodies. Okay, I have Saber Cat. Damage health poison recipe. I'll take it. Okay, a whole bunch of more alchemical reagents. Honeycomb. I guess it makes sense for there to be a bunch of alchemy shit in here because there was an alchemy table on the outside, right? Oh no. Oh no! It's Varric Tillwald. What a name.
Who would this be? A Breton? Is that is that a very Breton name? Varric Tilwald? That's the best I got. Breton. Okay. I mean, granted, says the Dunmer with the name fucking Lyle Schnub. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? I'm the Dragonborn. I'm special. I get to have a name that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Fall of Samethyst. I'll take it. Gordon is also clogging shit up once more. There we go. All right. What else have we got? Of Crossed Daggers. Varric's Note. I met Seychelle Gatharian on a Mordus outside the docks in the rain. Should have taken it as a sign. We've done business before, she and I. Smuggling black soul gems, corpses, the kind of dark and dishonest things that would make a grown man sleep- w that would make grown men sleep in pairs. But this was different. This was big. The sword she gave me was like nothing I'd ever seen. Teeth like a slaughterfish, and a blood-red gem in the center. I said, it must have been one of a kind. That's when she smiled and told me there was another. My job was to swap them. We sealed the venture with a coin, of which more was promised later. The mage told me I was contacted in a week. I was, I'd be contacted in a week. A group of her associates would pay us to use the hideout to kill some captain, after which I'd make the switch. She told me to keep this a secret from the mages, which made me pause, but the details didn't matter much to me. All I wanted to know was a number on the ledger. It was enough. Months later, and the deal has turned rotten, the mages underestimated their own magic, and now... And we are greed. Now we're all paying for the price of our stupidity. Some tried to fight their way out, but the bastard won't die. I'm beginning to think he can't. On top of that, every man that he's felled has risen to fight beside him, making him that much harder to kill. I guess I have no one to blame but myself. Sure, I should have trusted my gut from the start. Mage jobs always have a bad stink on them, but this one smelled especially foul. But I wanted that gold so bad I convinced myself and the men it was moon sugar. The funny thing is I don't even have bloodthirst anymore. I lost it at the pits at Faldar's Tooth, thinking I could just kill the mages and Gatharian once I got my hands on the other one. But when the spell went bad, the guild sealed the captain in these chambers, and us along with him. Now all I have left is a festering wound, an empty stomach, and the mage's coin to show for it. Chances are this coin is probably the only thing that will ever make it out of here. But <laughs> oh, it could tell you a story, because this coin has bought a lot of lives. It sold a lot of dreams and spilled a lot of blood. I know now the coin is cursed, and for some reason, I can't let it go. Huh. Investigate Faldar's tooth. Cool, I'll lead on another place. I'll take the coin. All right, over here. Tomato, yum. Over here. There we are. I don't know why that that had like such a I don't know pulpy detective sort of vibe to the writing on that you know <laughs> I don't know it was very felt like a, a real dick mullen all right let's get on out of here anything else no all right are we good we're good over there but let's check this little wing Look, there's another weird journal in here. Alright. I wonder what this one will say. We came in here to trap the pirate captain. Uh oh, he's fucking really strong. The sword's too much. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> there's spiders everywhere, too. 
<laughs> oh, it's Salonis' journal, volume two. What were you doing with it, Guild Mage? Just reading it? I guess so. Salonis' journal, volume two. Oh, whoops. First of evening star, fourth era, 130. We have secured a location that will serve us well. An old partially abandoned smuggler's hideout in Riften. One of the council members, Sichel Gatharian, had done prior business with the inhabitants and pointed us in their direction. It was a prudent choice, as these small band of unsavory entrepreneurs seem more than happy to assist us with our venture, for they have a love of gold above all else. With this much aid, building our trap should be accomplished reasonably quickly. Once this is done, we will bring her remains to us and draw our spider out. 18th of Morning Star, 4th Era 131. Okay, so that's like change of the year. It is done. Now all we can do is wait. When he arrives, we will incapacitate him with our magic and separate him from his blade. We will then channel his life force and mana. Whoa, his mana? into our constructed device, which will use his own energy to shield the weapon from him. In essence, he will become bound to it, for whilst he lives, the shield will hold. Hopefully this plan will work and we can avoid bloodshed, for given what we know of him, we do not wish his death. Perhaps there is even hope that without his blade, we can rehabilitate him. For despite his crimes, I do pity the poor soul. Huh. Okay. We still don't know the identity of this person. Is it going to be a big reveal who it's supposed to be? Guild Mage's Scribble. We are doomed! There is no hope! <laughs> okay, cool. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what have we got in here? They they read the the very the fairly eloquent journal, volume two of Salonis or whatever, and after that they just just ripped out page. We are doomed. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Good. 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 Let's see. Let's head on over here. Did we check this bod? Yep, we did. Okay, cool. Oh, look. Did we check this skeleton? Oh, it's uncheckable. Wow. Okay. Hey, here's a question. Why were they hung up like this? <laughs> Isn't this part of the Mages Guild and stuff? Did the ghost do it? Why would the ghost care? Why was there all this torture shit down here? How'd this all get, get built? Was this part of the rehabilitation, quote-unquote, they wanted to rehabilitate... This person, the guardian, by way of torture? And, like, why'd they build so many fucking side rooms and all that? You know? <laughs> right? It's almost like like they were sending... Like, why did they need two cages, you know? Why'd they need, like, two of these shackles that hang people and all that, you know? <laughs> it's like they, they part of them knew inside that this would go horribly wrong, and they were just like, ah, better build another set of shackles for, uh... Old Smenethi Arethi over there for when this goes sideways. I know we're all gonna be stuck in here. I'm gonna have one of us is gonna be hanging from this. I know this ghost is fucked up. It's gonna really fuck us all over. <laughs> what the hell? Unless this was part of it, right? Was this did this already exist as part of it and shit before the the like smugglers and stuff? Or this is what the smugglers used? If you're smuggling stuff. Why would you have this unless you're smuggling, like, people, right? Which I guess is possible in the world of the Elder Scrolls, but why the the torture device, right? Why the torture rack, you know? Huh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand the purpose of this room entirely. Maybe we just shouldn't think about it too much. 
All right. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we'll look down below. It looks like there's some fun, like, platforming or something. Some cool adventure in this wing, just as there was in the last one. Very fascinated by that. And then we'll check out the last wing, and we've got access to this cool weapon. I forgot what it was called, but you definitely get it in Oblivion's Shivering Isles expansion and all that, right? Probably in between videos, we'll take a nap on the hay pile. It'll do us some good, right? Seems like a good plan. All right, when next we come back, checking out the rest of the Guardian Vault and seeing what we can do and get this weird-looking sword, right? It really does not look like it belongs in any Elder Scrolls game, but alas, hey, that's a lot of Shivering Isles weapons for you, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other.